Now, a couple days ago, I made a post on our community page. Go check it out because debunking ice cream pictures is one of the many things we partake of over there. And I made a post asking you for different videos you would like to see. And to my surprise, over a detailed guide on a character and over everything and anything else, it was a video about my thoughts. I mean, I don't argue because you just saved me hours of script writing and browsing the internet for scraps of data on a character who isn't even out yet. But I'm still shocked and kind of confused. Anyway, let's get into it. And because I didn't get any feedback on my question on how to pronounce her name, because everybody loves the way I pronounce this guy's name, I'll be sticking with Betty Labama. If you somehow have a problem with that, then man, you should have stopped me earlier. I bring you my thoughts on Betty Labama. Now, I kind of dropped the whole my thoughts videos a while ago. I think my last one was with Saati. I mean, yikes. I just don't think they're as professional, but then again, I never really set out to do that in the beginning anyways. Drinking tea and sleeping in a tuxedo is not really my style, though I would love a tux. Betty Labama. We have a lot to cover, no pun intended. So let's jump into character design. Now, this is arguably the most weighted section we'll be covering in this video. Her appearances might make some of you think she's a tank. I thought this when I first saw her too. She is not. Although she could probably outweigh- She is a damage, and trust me, she can do a lot of it. I like the color scheme of her outfit, a nice orange color that matches her explosions. I like it, it's a nice touch that hi res put in there, well done. But I do have one big question about her hair. What color is it? I mean, in-game and trailer, it looks like a reddish-brown color. But in all art, including fan art, it's purple. I mean, that is a little confusing. It might just be me, but man, I'm not sure. When it comes to her character design, it is interesting. The route Hi Res took with Betty is uh, unique, to say the least. You might look at her and laugh, or maybe other things. But when I show you her abilities, you'll take all of that back because she is not a laughing matter. Betty Labama is OP, like super overpowered. Now I tried not to dig too deep into the wiki for her abilities and very small hidden attributes because you guys wanted a my thoughts videos and not a how to dominate video. But I did do a little digging, I will admit. And yes, she is OP. Let's start with her movement ability, Explosive Personality. Basically, she can bounce up to three times in midair. It goes pretty far and has a relatively short cooldown time, which is surprising for someone of uh, her magnitude, but I'll try to keep this short. She has a cluster grenade, grenade launcher, and something called Hail of Bombs. This is mainly the overpowered ability, and I just like it. It's cool because, oh my gosh, it's insane. Basically, she throws a bag on the ground. The bag is full of bombs that pop out and hail from the heavens. Yeah, awesome. Her ultimate is interesting. Have you ever seen a cartoon or a movie where the main hero has to stop the rocket as it's flying in the air, so a hero is gripping on for their lives and ripping the cords and stuff out of the side of the rocket? I mean, now thinking back at it, who the heck puts a turn off button on a nuclear bomb three inches from the shell? But anyways, it's the same thing with Betty, but without uh, everything but riding a rocket. That was a pretty stupid way to put it, but there you go. She rides a massive rocket into your face. So she's got some pretty good movement, insane damage, and an interesting ultimate. So my general thoughts on Betty Labama. I like how they're putting some time and care into Bomb King's kingdom and all, because it's really weird on its own. A bomb guy has a bomb kingdom that we don't ever hear crap about. So Betty being a former, um, citizen? Worker? Designer? I don't know. Of his kingdom is really nice. Hi-Rez definitely went a different route with her, and man, I still can't get over the fact she's not a tank or frontline or whatever. I mean, she fits, man. No pun intended. She actually fits, and I was actually really excited about this new Betty bomb tank thing. But alas, it is what it is. If you enjoyed this style of video, feel free to let me know in the comments. And for my regular commenters who always say I overhype the OP-ness of a new character, Betty Labama is going to be so overpowered that she will come out of this screen and find you. Not that anyone would have a problem with that, but hey, I had a blast making this video. I've already written more than I wanted to, but it was worth it. Go check out the community page. We have stuff going on over there all the time. I hope you have a great day, and remember, Life is short. Play great games. The move is finally over. I'm back. Looking back at 2021, I realized that pretty much every single character that's been added to the games I cover, so like first-person shooters and online games, they've all been over-the-top overpowered. Saati